Okay, this is a how is it, unscheduled dispatch. You know, I usually I post there somewhere on well, Saturdays or Sunday mornings, and or like Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere around there. And uh, I have one ready to post to uh, today, tomorrow. But uh, there's something that came up that I have to address right away. Hopefully, I'll make it very short. Uh, and it has to do with um, the President of the United States of the United States of North America, Mr. Uh, Donald John Trump. Uh, he said something about, and I'm sitting in Africa, so he said something about Africa and a bunch of other places he called. Uh, well, I, um, I don't curse, so let me just change up the words. Uh, 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 dung holes. You know what I'm saying? You should go back to your dung hole. It didn't mean all the, all the nations that he talked about, but it was some of the nations that were on that, on that list. Okay, uh, by the way, I don't curse because it's an evolutionary thing. I, you have to look at another video. Maybe I can drug, drug, uh, find it and, and put, put the link to it or whatever have you. But I basically, I only curse uh, once a year, and that's on my birthday. It's like a steam valve, you know. But then, you know, just after this past uh, New Year's, because I'm going through this stuff with building my house, and I have to curse the contractor out. So I accidentally slipped up, you know, around New Year's. So now I'm amending my thing to curse and basically there are three instances. Well, one, my birthday, which is in July, uh, the beginning of July. Uh, one, uh, New Year's, two, two times that I celebrate, I can curse on New Year's. And one other thing that just happened last night. Okay, through all the stuff that's just happened with the contractor. Uh, well, this has always been a, I see, see, cursing or, or profanity is supposed, supposed to be, normally it's a way of letting off steam. Well, I had a fight with my wife last night. Oh, it was tough. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't, I don't even hit children. I never hit my children. I, 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 I don't even, in fact, no, I hit my child once in the mouth, and that was, uh, it was terrible. Um, but, um, but I don't hit. Uh, physically, I don't hit. I think that's a, what we call a deal breaker. That's, that's according. That's actually this is before the code for Neely for the Junior came about. So anyway, so I don't, I don't hit. So, but I curse. Right? So my three times now is like either uh, at home I could curse. You know. Curse my wife instead of beating, up, beating on her, you know, on um, New Year's and my birthday. So it was three instances. And last time we had a knockdown drill. If, if you're not married, you don't understand what it is. Uh, and she, I, she goaded me into all doing all this stuff. Because you know, she knows that I just don't pay no attention, you know, like that. And so, but after a knockdown, what well, was a knockdown again? But after such an intense thing, what people understand, uh, I guess people who are married or people who have a deep relationship, they understand when you have an intense thing, then afterwards, well, let's say the glow afterwards is like magnificent. So we had a, a session of um, after. Hey, let me get to, to the point. Uh, so Donald Trump uh, says he was in conversation with somebody and leaked out. I don't know what, what, what happened. I, I really don't pay attention. Like I tell everybody, don't pay, stop paying attention to Donald J. Trump, okay? Just you, you're supposed to be in. I don't call. I don't want to call it lane, but you're supposed to be in your river. Your river, the way you you river, your tributary to this this thing is supposed to be so. You know, you're supposed to be working so hard that whatever he's doing, because you're not gonna stop what he's doing. You know, you can react to him, which is a distraction. You know what I mean? But if you react to his distraction, what he's really doing, you're not paying attention to that. But but if you're in your in your in your river, in your rapid river. Uh, going down, flowing, trying to get to the tribute, trying to get your tributary to the main source, and you can really flood the situation. You know, you know, change this system, right? Then you really can't suffer these distractions. You know, you have to really, uh, you know, you really have to get do your thing. You know, I'm sure there's going to be other people to react to it. Let them react to it. Let the media, whatever, have you react to it. And you know, when I say the media, it's funny because. They call these people broadcasters. When I came to South to, to South Africa here, I was taken because they call people presenters here. Now I don't know. Well, they call people presenters. It's just like in in, um, in Britain, in in, uh, in England, wherever up there, and that's more accurate because they're presenting stuff, you know. And to me, the whole media, the the whole mainstream media, they're nothing but presenters. And the script they get, they they like the secretarial pool. For you know whatever these politicians or these these people, the the, the, the president, whatever have you. I know how that came about. That's for another video. Okay. So anyway, so he said that there was a long list, and I don't know if all these were were on were on the on the I'm calling the the the, the dunk hole list. Uh, but certainly, let's say, say I'll, I'll just go through a few of them that I say. Well, well, Nepal shouldn't necessarily be on it. Nepal. Well, when I was in Nepal, they said, well, we're just like Indians. We're a lot nicer. But you know, they they got some. They, well, in Nepal. Um, I know Yemen was on the list, but hey, if you don't want Yemen to be on the list, then stop bombing them. What's the problem here? Now, Haiti. Whoa, Haiti. 
wait a second, y'all been, you know, since that first revolt and, and America got all scared, you know, from what the America that he wants to make great like back then, got all scared, y'all been dumping on Haiti because you know, they had that time they, they had cough, I won't get into it. They put the, 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 the system of, of oppression, put the, the made, France made this, they made a deal with France, they had to pay back all this stuff, just like in South Africa. They had to pay back, you know, no, 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 no. They're, they're, they're dung holes because you make, you, 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 you foster this dung holeism. Okay, let's put it that way. They got to put uh, Rwanda, Rwanda, that's kind of strange because Rwanda may be, I think they're getting statistics from a long time ago because we're not Rwanda, you know, okay, the president, I'm not going to get into it. Let's put it this way. Uh, the, they're, they're technologically, they're like, they're going to, they're, they're trying to be like Wakanda. That's just that's, that's a little hint, this a little side thing that you, you may or may not understand. But their technology, they're, they're really up there. Just like there's a city uh, in, uh, I think it's in Kenya, right outside of, uh, of, the, of the capital. They're always supposed to be a technological city, you know, maybe all of modern Silicon Valley kind of kind of things. But Rwanda, what makes them rich is because, you know, they're, they're fermenting that war with, with, with um, with DRC and they're taking the coltan. Coltan's going out through Rwanda. That's what's making them richer. Okay. By the way, I don't remember. I don't think the. I don't think Democratic. I don't think Democratic Republic of Congo was on the list. But if, uh, well, let me put it this way. If you're raping the country, I don't think you want to be. Ah, never mind. I'm not going to tell. Him. Okay. Angola. I'm going like. Mm, I don't know Angola. It's, cost of living in Angola is really, really high. So I don't know. So maybe they're just talking about people in rural areas. I have no idea what, what, what he's talking about. But the point really is, you know, you call uh, um, people in this country dung hole, don't, don't, you know, why do you come here? Whatever, they, whatever they're saying about that. Well, my thing is, I actually, I, would say, I have to say, I do agree with some of this because a lot of the folks that's coming to the states, right, they're coming through economic hardships in that country. They're coming because they have the money to escape you know, their own circumstance, the, 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 uh, and, and that's what they do. But I, I think they're just cowards. I think they should stay there, right? Unless you come to the States, and you, uh, unless you're coming to the States to join in with the true uh, of, of the black revolutionaries to overthrow, to, to make this system so they won't go and bomb your country, then there's no reason for you to come to the States. You there's no reason for anybody to come to the states unless they come to the states to make sure that the states, that the, the, the military states is not bombing and, and taking the resources out of their country, their country of origin. Okay, otherwise there's absolutely no other reason. Even if you come for educational purposes, your education should be to stop the foreign policy of the United States and everybody else from dumping on your country. You should, that's, that's the only reason for coming to the, the belly of the beast. Because we who have been in the belly of the beast and know what the deal is, we have a constant fight. Every time we come in with these people diluting our fight or saying stuff like, oh no, I'm black too and it ain't that. No, no, you're not black too. Not black like me, you know. So just, this is nonsense, right? The number one priority in the world globally is for you, wherever you are, not to leave. South Sudan, I don't care where you are. You don't leave. You fight the fight. You fight and die there. Just like black Americans had to fight and die. All through Jim Crow, you know, the whole, the whole thing. Slavery, uh, uh, we had to fight and die. And then when we finally got something, then they started deluding get, get all these other people. They don't have to fight and die at their country. They come in to dilute out. No! So. That's what upsets me. It's not Donald J. Trump saying whatever he's saying because it's a boy misinformed, you know, you know, no. My problem is the people who are, then they say, well, he said he called this. No. He, I won't say he's absolutely right, but what's right is that you need to stay in your land. I'm, I'm talking, even people come down here in South Africa. No, you go back to Somalia, you go back to wherever you come from, and you fight the power there. You fight the power there. You don't come someplace else and rape the people economically or take their land, doing the same thing that the, uh, the, the colonials want you to do. No. Wrong. So there it is. From me, T. From the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.